especially if you go to the lakeshore. It's a great place to go, but look at it from a distance. Yes, Definitely. yeah. So even on Lake Michigan, on our side of Lake Michigan, a lot of the snowpack can get on the sand and it can look the same as it does on the ice when the ice has snow on it. So you may not know when you're walking from sand to ice. So be very careful if you are walking out there or even on the pier because that ice is very slick and then you could fall several feet onto frozen ice on Lake Michigan. So again, be very careful out there along the lakeshore. Good to see that man was okay. But as we look across our area tonight, we're quiet. We're only seeing partly cloudy skies across the area. It's very quiet conditions. We did see a few flurries passed through earlier today, but when we had the sunshine down in South Haven, we caught a gorgeous sunset. Stephanie sent this one in this this afternoon, a beautiful shot over Lake Michigan. So thank you for sending that one in, Stephanie, a beautiful shot. And most of the area did see some decent sunsets, unless you were northwest of Grand Rapids, where most of the cloud cover resumed. We were partly cloudy near Kalamazoo and sunny there in South Haven, so some gorgeous shots across the area. Temperatures in the teens right now, 20 in Muskegon. Overall, though, a pretty chilly night across the area. We'll see these temperatures drop down into the teens as we go throughout the night tonight and continue to get into lower teens as well. The winds picking up as well. We're seeing sustained winds anywhere from 10 upwards of 20 miles per hour and gusts right now upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour as well. Those will be continuing into tomorrow and that'll allow for any flurries to be seen, allow for some light blowing and drifting snow. So any snowpack still on the ground could be a little wispy at times throwing around on the road. So be cautious of that and two hands on the wheel because any slick spots with, with wind could cause you to slide off the road. Now, again, we're only tracking a few spotty showers hours overnight tonight and then we'll see some more light snow late Sunday but that one doesn't look too significant maybe a half inch or so mostly to the north of Grand Rapids again and then we're overall trending warmer and fairly quiet just a few chances for snow but nothing significant in terms of accumulation there's the system it was a weak Alberta clipper that moved over Lake Michigan and Lake Superior throughout the day today it allowed for a few flurries to cross overhead, especially north of Grand Rapids. That one's moved off. We are seeing a few flurries out near Minnesota. That'll push in. It won't allow for too much in terms of precipitation, but we are seeing a few light lake enhanced snow showers making their way in. Most of them very light, if any. So just be cautious of any potential flurries, especially along Lake Michigan, but overall should be fairly dry. On the future track tonight, the cloud cover will begin to break up with that strong south wind. We'll allow for temperatures to stay where about they're at. We're at 17 degrees right now. We're probably only going to drop to about 14 degrees because the wind allows for a lot of mixing and not a lot of temperature drop in the atmosphere. But we do see a line of showers build up. This one looks to be light of these snow showers, but more north and west of Grand Rapids if you see any. And this should die off fairly quickly as well. But then the cloud cover starts to build in from the northwest to the southeast. If you're down near Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, you could see partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Most of us here will see mostly cloudy skies across Grand Rapids and then a few more snow showers continue to build in in Sunday night into Monday morning. This is when we'll see the most chance for any accumulating snow, but most of it looks to be northwest of Grand Rapids and those will die off early Wednesday morning as they were or excuse me Monday morning as they make their way inland. So those low temperatures tonight, 13 in Kalamazoo, 14 Grand Rapids. We'll see those mostly cloudy skies, partly cloudy south of Grand Rapids, and a few flurries again still lingering possible, especially up near Grand Haven and Muskegon. The winds, as I mentioned, overnight tonight and as we go into tomorrow are going to be gusty out of the southwest at 10 to 15, upwards of 20 miles per hour. They'll be the gustiest in the early portion of Sunday and weaken as we go throughout the evening. On the Super 7-day planner, 30 degrees for Sunday, 27. On Monday, Tuesday, we see some good sunshine on 31 degrees, and then we warm up into the mid to even upper 30s on Wednesday before a weak system makes its way through, bringing us a chance for a little drizzle or some snow transitioning to all snow for Thursday and Friday.